So hi guys, I'm here in Carangtool and I'm about to visit Teresa and Daniel. So Daniel, like a lot of kids, is a fuss eater. He loves pizzas, chicken goujons, pancakes. So we're gonna go into the kitchen and spend some time with him. And uh, I'm gonna show him his favorite food, but how to cook it a lot healthier. So hopefully we can get a bit more nutrition into him. Here. Hey man, how's it going? Are you Daniel the fuss eater? Yep. Alright, so into the kitchen, we're gonna get you sorted. Yeah. We're here in the kitchen with Daniel and Teresa, and Daniel's just been telling me he's got six or seven girlfriends. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's six or seven girlfriends, and he wants to learn how to cook for them. So, Daniel, what, what, what are your favourite things to eat? Pizza. Okay. Hot dogs. Vegetables. Fruit. <laughs> yeah, smoothies. Uh, no, no comment. Uh, anyway, Teresa, his mom rang in, uh, wants us to come out and give a few cookery lessons in the house. So, Teresa, why did you ring us? Um, basically because I wanted to get some healthy food into Daniel. Um, mostly vegetables, because he just doesn't touch them, and fruit. Um, and because of his age now, he's 10 going on 11, I'm hoping that by the time he hits his teens, he will get a good taste of a variety of food rather than just eating chicken nuggets or you know chicken steak or anything like that. So it's basically just to give him a variety and also for me just to not have to be cooking so many different meals in the evening time. You to know. suit everybody. Yeah, yeah. to suit everybody. Okay, so cool. yeah. So you're starving. Yeah, I just want to uh, say one thing. Yeah. Keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> so we know you like chicken goujons, pizzas and pancakes, so we're going to start cooking mm. them and we're going and to try brownies. And, uh, we're not doing brownies. <laughs> um, we'll do brownies the next time. But we'll try and get a few vegetables Next into time. Alright, yeah, next time. You're going to come work with me after this. All right. Sound good? Here go. Oh, cool. <laughs> so we're going to start off and make a pizza sauce. Okay. Alright, so if you buy a takeaway pizza, mm. or kind of shop bought pizza. Yeah. Generally the quality of the sauce is not going to be great. Okay. And tomato sauces are a great way to hide vegetables for kids. Now obviously he's there watching us, he's gonna know what's gonna go in, but hopefully yeah. when we taste it. I will. You you you'll eat it, won't you? Oh I'll taste it. That's we'll why I bought this carrot. If you don't eat it, you're gonna get this carrot. <laughs> when you're making the sauce what you want to do first of all is get like the most powerful ingredients in first, like the strongest flavoured ones and cook them nice and slowly. If you cook these nice and slowly, it takes all the rawness out of them. Okay. And kids can't taste it. Right. If you don't cook onions and garlic enough, they're very, very overpowering. And if it's in a sauce or in a stew or in a casserole, the kids will just taste it straight away. So what I'm going to do for the onion, um, what I do is I just take off the top of the onion, okay, and leave the root on. And by leaving the root on, it stops your eyes from watering. So just peel mm -hmm. off the outside skin, and then we're going to just finely slice it. The finer you slice it, the quicker it cooks, okay. and the less he'll notice what's in there. Yeah. And just push down and away from yourself, okay? That's it. Garlic is like a superfood. Antibacterial, it's really good for you. So, as much garlic as you can get into your kids, possible, the better. Okay. So we've got one onion, I'm gonna put three cloves of garlic into this. So what I'm going to do is just press down, okay. and that'll just crack all the skins, and then we're just gonna peel off the skin. Do you want to just crack that one for me? So just get your hand and press down hard. Okay, so like yeah. that? Yeah. There you go. That's it. Yeah. And see where the skin just comes off? Yeah. So guys, what we're going to do then is we're just going to get our onions and our garlic and throw them in. So very, very important then over to gentle heat. Okay. If garlic gets too brown and it burns, it becomes very, very pungent. Um, and then when you're cooking vegetables at the start, always add a little bit of seasoning at the start. Yeah. I need to pepper. Yeah. yeah, perfect, a little bit of salt and pepper. So we're going to do some peppers next. So we have one onion, three cloves of garlic, probably half a red pepper and half the other pepper. Well. Then we keep some of the peppers and we put them on top of the pizza then as well. Do you like this one at all? Just try it, it's not going to kill you. That hurt? Yeah. What's it called? Amalia? Rosemary. And then your first garlic Alright. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you like the smell of it? Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be. I put a little bit in? Sure. Okay. Herbs are always good. Herbs are really good for you. Okay. Herbs are tasty. My God, it's a miracle. I'm only here an hour. Herbs are tasty. Yeah, we um, are. What happened, Daniel? Where's no, my, where's my son gone? Where's my son? <laughs> You're not the same person. So what you want, I always put it skin side down and then just slice it up. Okay? Oh yeah, that's easy. So peppers are gone in. Yeah. 
Um, the last vegetable we're going to stick in is a carrot. Yay! So probably like a finger sized piece of carrot. So again, carrots, root vegetable, full of vitamin C, full of fiber. If you try and chop up the carrot with a knife, especially for the sauce, what will happen is that when you blitz it up, it'll make almost a soup out of it. You know, okay. it can be very healthy in the mouth. Mm. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grate the carrot with a cheese grater. And that breaks it right down and always makes it into a, like a liquid. And it helps dilute the sauce a little bit. Daniel, do you want to do this? Okay, but do not grate your knuckles. <laughs> Just the carrot. Oh, I don't want any knuckles. skin or bone in my in my sauce, okay? Yep. Right? Nice and slowly. Grate the carrot okay. in. Yeah. And then tomato passata. So just take into consideration right the vegetables are going thick in the sauce. You want it at this stage quite loose so that when we do blitz it up it'll thicken. So that is a base vegetable sauce. We cook that now for about seven or eight minutes and then we blitz it up to a puree. This is going to be some of the topping for your pizza later on so it's just a chicken breast, a little bit of oil, salt, pepper and you told me you liked um, chorizo so we put a little bit of Cajun seasoning on it just to add a little bit of spice. Yeah. We just roasted that for about 15-20 minutes. Okay so we're going to finish off the pizza so our sauce is done. So you can see everything now is really really soft okay? Yeah. Ideally you'd love to get to a stage where you're not blitzing the sauce. Yep. And it's actually a chunky sauce. Yeah. It's more sauce. texture yeah. and it's better for the kids to get used to more textures in the mouth. Chunky. But for this fella here today we're going to blitz it up so we can get it into him. Alright? Yes. So I just have a food processor. Did you ever use one of these? No. Will you use this for me? But yeah, sure I'll do. So And then you basically should press the button. Press that button there. Yeah. yeah. That look alright? Look at the face on there. Oh my god, that looks so weird. Why does it look weird? Lumpy. It's not lumpy, that's just because I show you I get a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so would you like the sauce? Is that is that is that too lumpy for you now? Yeah. Okay, well do you know what we're gonna do? Blitz it more. <laughs> see that helps. I'll check it down, see. Is it too lumpy? Um, I can blitz it more. I can yeah, blitz it more. Do you want me to blitz it more? Okay, yeah, perfect. Blitz, blitz it, it as much as you can. Yes, chef. So if you want to get it super, super fine, you can use the, yeah. the soup attachment. <laughs> now, Danny, that's as fine as it's going to get, dude. Okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Do you like chicken by itself? Yeah. Okay, well, you just taste this chicken and tell me. If you like it. Come on then. Come on, Daniel. Don't let me down. Come on, come on. Mm, tastes like chicken. It is chicken. <laughs> it is chicken. Yeah, it's good. Do you like that? Yeah. Is that good? So plain roast chicken, he likes it. Okay. Right. Right. Christmas dinner sorted. Okay. So, um, so we're just gonna grate some cheese. What does the cheese do to you? The cheese do to me? Yeah. It cheese me off. <laughs> So these are pre-made pizza bases, okay? If you want to make fresh pizza at home, it's maybe an hour and a half, two hour process. Yeah. But cook for kids. These are the exact same as I'd make at home. Okay. Ingredients wise, there's flour, yeast, salt, sugar and water. Okay, thank you very seven, much. Okay? Yeah. So it's kind of a cheat ingredient. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plan the tomato sauce. So again, like we're literally gonna put on a small bit because yeah. we're gonna build up the tolerance gradually. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is put the chicken, chicken. on. Chicken! Now will you eat peppers, do you think? Mm. Do you wanna try one of these and see what you think? Just try yeah. one. I've tasted one. them before. Just try it. If you don't I'm... like it, you don't have to eat it, but just try it. Just put it in your mouth and just... No. Yeah. And just tell me what you don't uh -huh. like. Just tell me what you don't like about it. Just try it. It's a taste. What's the taste like? What's the taste Horrible. like? Horrible. <laughs> no, no, but what's it taste? It's strong, is it? No, just a taste. This didn't even bite up at all. I can taste it perfectly well in my mouth. Okay, it's totally good, so go for it. Put the mm. cheese on top. Mm. So a little trick as well is that sometimes if you blitz up the sauce and there might be little bits and stuff, okay. if you want to start sneaking in veg, is always put the cheese on last because it'll melt over and kind of create okay. a blanket. Melt, 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 melt. Over what, melt. Is, what is hidden underneath. 
I always put it on a tray upside down because generally other trays can't fit. Okay. Pizza. So pizza's oven is on full back. We have a pizza tray. I mean. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, but it's small. It wouldn't fit. So everything that's on the pizza already okay. is, is pre-cooked. Yep. Sauces okay. done on your pizza base. It's pre-baked. Chicken's cooked. Okay. Cheese is ready to rock. So you just want to get a good bit of heat and then crisp it up slowly, and it's, it's ready to okay. eat. So it's quite a quick dinner. Mom, you do it. Go well, on, Mom. Okay. Mom's getting an easy. It's like warm robin, mate. Huh? It's like warm robin, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like you're warm your butter, mate. Yeah, I'll just go home. <laughs> Is the sauce good, yeah? Mm. We're a winner. So you're after eating onions, garlic, Carrots, peppers, and tomatoes. Nice? Mmm. Job. Right back after a break. He loves chicken goujons. He does? Mm. Um, yep. So you Let's can, go get chicken. I have chicken just here. There's chicken now. Um, so obviously you can buy cheap nasty goujons or you can do homemade proper mm. goujons. So we're going to do homemade okay. goujons. Basically, we're going to put them in a bread crumb. So what we have to do is you need flour, an egg wash, and then the bread crumbs, right? So flour, again, you can use wholemeal if you want, or plain flour. Okay. Wholemeal, again, needs a bit more, yeah. bit more fiber in it. Let's have some plain here. Our egg wash then. So we just want an egg and a splash of milk. So I just whisk together the egg and the okay. milk, okay? So the flour coats the chicken. And then the egg and milk sticks to the flour, okay. and the breadcrumbs stick to the egg. Hey, where's the chicken? Chicken? Yeah. I thought you were getting the chicken. It's crossing the road. It's crossing the road. <laughs> Wait, is chicken in there? Yeah, look, you see it? <laughs> <laughs> um, these are um, Japanese oh, breadcrumbs, okay. they're called panko breadcrumbs. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. They're really, really, really crispy. If you wanted to make like a spicy gumsha, Put a bit of Cajun seasoning. Ooh, let's put a bit of spice. Do you want some spice in it? Well, how about those herbs? Mine and I. Do you want some herbs as well? Yeah, sure. Oh my god. This what? There's something wrong. Uh, oh, in our flour, then just some salt and pepper, some seasoning. So, so we'll take a sprig of this, I think. The most unhealthy part of the dish would be the fact that we're going to be frying it in oil. Oh, okay. right? Wait, why do we have to? So, to get them crispy. Oh, because okay. you only like crispy things. Well, uh, I, don't, I don't mind, like, it's crispy or not. But we're, I have a trick for it, so don't worry about it. Oh, okay. The smaller I cut the chicken up, right, mm -hmm. this might sound a bit weird, but creates more surface area and then more oil comes in contact with the chicken. Oh, okay. I right? get what the bread comes So the healthiest from. way to do it would be to do a whole chicken breast, like a chicken Kiev style thing. Yeah. Because then you just have a little bit of bread crumb around the whole chicken. Okay. Whereas if I just cut that into 10 or 12 pieces, it'll soak up way more breadcrumbs. Yeah. And then it'll soak up more oil. Okay, so for the chicken goujons, what I like to do oh. is I open it out like a book. Okay. So you have okay. a nice thin piece of chicken. Yeah. And that's yeah. one goujon. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. So and drop it into the egg. What do you mean? Well, we're going to be making Ooh, egg. this by ourselves. And then into the breadcrumb, okay? So okay. I'm just going to drop a little bit of breadcrumb in there. I want to see it going golden brown. Okay. Golden brown. Golden brown. So when you're dropping anything into hot oil, no always oil. drop it away from yourself, mm -hmm. okay? And then we're going to get our herbs. Herb. Just throw them in there like that, dude. So I just throw them in? Yeah, like that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of garlic in there as well. Put golden brown on one side, flip it over. Golden brown on the second side. That's very good. Just, uh, we take the chicken, yep. just onto our oil rack. So I'm just going to get the... The rosemary, you just lay it on top like that, okay? So the thickness of your chicken goujon determines how long it takes to cook. So obviously the thicker it is, the longer it cooks. Yeah. Um, but for what we've done there today, eight to 10 minutes, it'll be fully cooked because we've got a good bit of heat going into it from the frying pan. Yeah. Um, so the reason why I cook them on a wire rack, there's two reasons. The reason, number one, is that any excess oil that's on the chicken is gonna fall off the rack into the tray, make it okay. healthier. And second, because it's on a wire rack, the, the heat will circulate and you get crispy all the way around. Ah! All right. Okay, 
pancakes. Kids love pancakes. Love pancakes. They do. Generally, they're made with white flour. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I would do is I'd start off doing half white flour and half wholemeal flour. Okay. Wholemeal flour has got more fibre, mm-hmm. and it releases energy a lot slower and it's better. Okay? okay. If you go 100% wholemeal at the start, they will notice the difference. Yeah. I want a load of pancakes. All right. So we're just going to go in with um, 75 grams of plain flour. Okay. Uh, get and we stop. Roughly, that doesn't have to be exact. No. There you go. 75 right exactly. And then 75 of this one. Oh. So if you're ever baking and the, the recipe is everything in one bowl, just put the bowl on top of the scales. That's what I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it is easier, isn't Way it? Easier. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to crack in two eggs. Yes, I like cracking the eggs. So it's important that you crack it with one hand. What? I'm only joking. What? I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Don't get any shell in there, okay? <laughs> Crack it off the edge first. That's yeah, that, that's yeah. it. Now get your thumbs in the hole that you cracked. I over the bowl. Oh. Over the bowl. Over this bowl. <laughs> yeah. Push Fine. your thumbs into the hole. That's it. Push them in, push them in, push them in. Come on. Come on, use the muscles. I know, but I'm afraid it's all Don't be afraid, it's only an egg. There we go. 100%. And then what you want to do then is we're going to put in 250 mils of milk. Whisk it up, yeah. They're getting protein from the eggs. Yeah. Good quality fats, they're yeah. getting protein from the milk. Getting protein from the flour, plus getting good quality carbohydrates. Mm-hmm. So, pancakes are actually quite good for you. Mm-hmm. That's what you put in the like, Yeah, I mean, the thing is like, yeah, that's true actually. I love pancakes. Yeah, yeah. that's it, that's the consistency of corn. Okay. Kind of okay. Okay. So when, when you're cooking, I cook them in butter, I'd always use 100%. Irish butter at home, um, which is what you have in the fridge. But literally with the butter, all we're doing is I'm going to drop in a little bit, okay? Melt it, mm, and then I'm just no. going to rub it with a bit of kitchen paper just around the pan. So you're, you're putting on minimum. What I want you to do is you're going to take a ladle of this, okay. pour it into the center. All right. Oh. Tip it all over you. So drop it in, and then you just work it around the pan. Okay. Okay. I guess you'll try some berries, okay? I'll make a face out of it. <laughs> that only really works for so long. Mm. You try. Try one. Just try one. Okay. Think okay. Do you like jellies? Yeah. Think of it like that. Jelly. That's the first time I've ever. Look at the fatty on it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just keep, keep moving, keep moving. Keep yeah, keep moving. Is it gone? Do you eat it? Yeah. It's not that bad, is it? Just take a little bit of fruit in the center, okay? Okay. No. okay. Oh, that maple syrup. A little bit of syrup. You don't want to go too mad in the syrup. Lamb. So let's put a little bit of lemon there, okay? Yeah, sure. And then we'll just roll it up. <laughs> okay, go for it. It's like a hot dog. Not going too well. Oh my god. Do you not like it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, look at the eyes on it. They look like potholes. Swallow it. Swallow it. Is, Swallow is it. it. What, what don't you like about it? The fruit? Mm. Is it because it's weird and lumpy? Don't, you don't have to eat it. Go and go and spit it out in the bin. Go on. Yeah. So is it just okay. the, was it the fruit? What's the tricky thing? Yeah. Okay, I, we'll just try the pancake with yeah, the syrup. Yeah, just try the syrup. So at least. Using wholemeal flour, yeah. so the plain flour is a step in the right direction. Okay. Um, but when you tried the fruit, mm. um, even before he tasted it, you could see his face, he wasn't happy, so that's obviously okay. the texture. Because you need to bite into food in order to taste the flavours. Yeah. So it's just the minute it went in, it was like, you know, but since we've left the food out. Yeah, he's quite happy. He's quite happy. <laughs> What's that like? Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we just Okay, so guys, we're all done in the kitchen. I'm absolutely wrecked. This guy is stuffed. 
and uh, <laughs> mom is all stressed. Um, <laughs> so we did three dishes, kind of three dishes that Daniel really likes eating. So we started off with our pancakes, so we kind of substituted wholemeal flour instead of plain flour, a bit more fibre in there. Um, we tried them with a bit of fruit, which didn't go too well, but uh, we got some wholemeal flour into them, which is a step in the right direction. We did some pizza, so with the pizza then, we did some home-cooked chicken, we made a vegetable tomato-based sauce that got a load of veg in, and he absolutely loved that, didn't you? Perfect. And then he's not talking out because he's eating chicken <laughs> goujons, which he said are the nicest goujons he's ever had. Um, so again, a homemade chicken goujon with good quality chicken, eggs, flour, and we cooked them in like a Japanese panko breadcrumb, which doesn't soak up too much oil. Um, mm. So it's actually a healthy alternative to a, a shop-bought chicken goujon. It's delicious. Say that, say that a bit louder. It's delicious. Okay, there we go. My job is safe. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so how did you find today? It was really interesting, actually. I'm hoping, as I said, that I can make up, um, you know, the sauce the same and everything and do the goujons the same because he's, he's loving it so much. Like, so, I mean, I know now that I can get vegetables into him. Um, some bit healthy um, and hopefully as a progress as you were saying like make the sauce more lumpier as as time goes on so that he can you know get used to it yeah. so by the time he is in his teens you know he has that in his diet which yeah. would be really great the goujons look amazing um, I was really hoping I'd get some bit of fruit into him um, but it's really no surprise that he didn't because you know, of the texture and that with it, like, but yeah. using the whole meal, um, I think that that's what I'm going to be using when I do pancakes now. Yeah? You better not make them one clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, uh, yeah, a hard, a hard thing to follow, but, um, okay. yeah, it was really good. It's actually really positive now from today, so, um, Yum. yeah, hopefully it goes, everything goes up that way, well, and, practice yeah. Practice makes perfect, and, yeah, that's it, yeah. He seems to like getting involved in the cooking, which yeah. is a good thing, so the yeah. more he gets involved, the better. Yeah. And I won't be making different dinners for everybody. I mean, it's stuff that I will eat because I yeah. know it's healthy and I've made it. So um, it will cut down on... Like if you're making pancakes, do you add fruit to yours? Do you fruit yeah, things? yeah. Pizza, yeah. you do a vegetable pizza, do a plain pizza. Yeah. And like, I'm a professional chef and worked in fancy restaurants, but when I'm at home, it's, this is, it's simple, straightforward yeah. food using good quality yeah. ingredients, um, home cooked, and you can't really go wrong. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful, it tastes good. Today was good because I got free food, mostly. <laughs> and what about the sauce on the, the pizza? How was that? Oh, that was good. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah, overall, 80% success. We didn't get the fruit in here, but we'll get there slowly but yeah. surely. I'll keep at that. Are yeah. you coming uh, again at some point? <laughs> <laughs> next weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back next week. Yeah. yeah. Cook up another. Right, well done today. I think the most important piece of equipment in the kitchen is a, is a good frying pan. So it's a little gift from Thank Red FM TV. you. So, there you uh, go. Good quality pan, so your pancakes okay, and chicken and the whole lot. So that's your you're tennis racket now. Gonna be good. Yeah. All right. You're gonna be cooking. So mm -hmm. that's your first frying pan. That's yours. I only yours. Yeah. Side, okay. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks very much. You're very welcome. So play with that now instead of your Xbox, okay? Yeah. It's yeah. a lot better for you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've just finished the last lesson here, cooking with Teresa and Dalian. It's been really, really exciting experience for myself. I've learned a lot from going into people's kitchens and working with them. So I really hope you enjoyed the series, and hopefully we'll be back with more tips for you in the kitchen. Thanks again. Goodbye.